beautiful. And at the very end, I just want to set up the product and product ID as a nested route. And this is the case where if you want to challenge yourself, you can stop the video and try doing it yourself. So basically, whatever we have right now, here with a homepage, where we nested rest of the routes, I also want to do the same thing with the products, where we want to place a product ID inside of the product, we do want to set up the index one, as well as some shared layout. So again, if you want to try doing that for yourself, stop the video, try to solve this puzzle again. Basically, the setup is exactly the same, you'll probably want to use a different shared component. That's it. So let's start here by setting up that component. So I'm going to go here with shared product and layout. I know it's somewhat long name, but we'll deal with that. Then let's grab quickly the code over here, since I don't want to waste my time on imports and all that. So I have here a link, I don't think I'll need that. What I want is outlet, I won't need the nav bar. And as far as the shared layout, well, there's not really much that I want to add over here. I guess I'm just going to take a look at the products one. So in here, I just have heading two. So let's do it this way where we'll go with heading two, we'll go with products, we'll keep that one. And we won't need the import for the style nav bar as well. Then let's go back to our app JS. We want to grab that long component. So let's say here import shared, shared, and it was product, product layout JS. So that is coming from the pages, I believe. Correct. So shared product layout. Let's close this. And before we continue in the product JS, we can just remove the heading two. And let's set up the entire logic here, where first we want to go with the route, the path will be products, correct. So we're going to go here with products. Now as far as the element, we'll go with that shared product layout, let's close this one. And then in here, let's set up both of these routes. Now we can remove the path, we can just say index. And for this sucker, it's just going to be product ID. And once we save, I'll make this one bigger now. And as you can see, the result did not change. So the functionality is exactly the same. The only difference is that now again, we're using this nested routes approach, where we have the parent, we have the shared layout, by the way, this is a tiny typo here. So shared layout, then this is going to be our index page, which is our products page. And we'll also have a single product page. And that should do it for React Router 6 tutorial. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next videos.